Here comes a regular kick, followed by a big commotion. There's a lot going on in the bottom corner of the screen. It looks like there's minor contact, yet major fucking pain. Yeah, nah, he looks like me when I stub my toe on the coffee table. A doctor is called in. He's like, don't fall asleep. Stay with me. Stay with me. Think of your family and friends. You're going to get through this, damn it. And he does. Either the doctor is Jesus reborn, or he was fucking faking it. Look out for the massive choke hold, and it's after effect, which is a full facial pain. <laughs> he checks for blood. Look away now, just in case. Look away. I oh, know it's all good. There's no blood. Fuck me, there's a sniper in the stands. This dickhead has clearly taken a bullet to the back, and the impact has shattered his ankle, foot, toes, knee, leg, everything. This fella has a lot of space between him and his opponent. Surely nothing can go wrong. Oh, of course it can. He is confused and outraged for not being awarded a free kick. Here comes KSI representing YouTubers everywhere and he's gone down. I think he's imitating his role models, but if not, I hope this old injury doesn't come back to haunt him when fighting Logan Paul. Here comes a headbutt. No, maybe, kind of. I don't think so. And another headbutt, or is it a kiss on the forehead? I'd say it was a kiss and he feels like his boundaries have been crossed. These two wankers have absolutely no intention of keeping their eye on the ball. Is that Ronaldo? Isn't he meant to be good? Oh dear, we're gonna need another magical Jesus doctor down here again. Or an exorcist. He is fucked. There's a bit of wrestling and a punch to the face. It could be a knockout. Or perhaps slight dizziness. Let's double check how hard the punch was. Yeah, it was a big one. It fair dinkum had Mike Tyson power behind it. Look out for brain damage, hey. Oh, it's going to be another brutal head, but I can't watch. It's too violent. Oh, dear. Both wankers go down like a couple of sacks of shit.